welcome back. Yes. <laughs> That's convenient. So lots of children, they can't go to a school and be, uh, obtain the education, the normal education legally. So they're kind of underground children. They're very, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting They live in a bad life, children. actually. Again, the, the thing that you didn't even know, lots of um, individuals, especially in the rural area and especially for female, they didn't feel good for the for the period they gone through because they have experienced the family planning period and they they will say oh they are feel they are feeling lonely and feel not happy because um lots of reason and here I want to share one of my uh, story um I actually have two siblings. But when I was a child, my mother told me, um, Ling Fong, you actually have six more siblings. I hide them. And at that time, I was too naive or too young to understand what my mom was saying. And when I grew up, I kind of figured out what she's saying. Actually, he, she indeed pr produced six potential siblings for me but I can't see them anymore because they're in the heaven oh. yeah that's kind of the the bad effect of traditional concept for the rural woman because it's a strong idea that in a family there must be a male so my mother just keep give birth giving birth until I was born wow. and I'm so I feel so lucky that I didn't I was not like this those children I was so lucky I, I enjoy the high quality education and health care and lots of ego stuff <coughs> yeah the next thing that you didn't even know those are um, some policies I select I selected from the website you can have a look here mm -hmm. it's kind of forcible uh, it's kind of inhuman the law force women to do the abortion mm -hmm. if they ha already have one children yeah and my mom actually um, when he, when I was in her stomach, I was born in my grandma's house, and my mom would stay there for like half a year, because if I was mm, born at the like ground area, if I if my mom was found, she's extremely dangerous in that case. Yeah fine and abortion, maybe criticize, yeah, lots of negative effects. And those are some pictures to demonstrate how bad the policy is. <coughs> yeah, it, especially for this one, like take it out. Oh, do the abortion. Wow. You can produce like anyway. Wow. That's terrible. Yeah. So it's gonna be the ending of my story, and we could think about the ways we can try to prevent these things happen again. The first thing I want to say is the education, cause I learned. Um, uh, term in the macroeconomics it's called a uh, productivity possibility frontier or in the operational management there is a term called efficiency frontier in the case of the story I was talking about for the if there are more people in the family they will be more powerful actually it's a um, it's a uh, it's a phenomenon which 
it's a symbol of people they are not good well educated because in the scientific way if if the points are reaching to the frontier that means it's not useful to have more labor labors you need to change your method you need to improve your technology you need to improve your another like resources you need to be more creative and the second point I want to point out is the birth control um, actually government can try some ways to make the pro uh, reproduction in high quality by like medical uh, supervision maybe mm -hmm. to keep the baby because there are lots of ch uh, people who get married even though they're like close relatives it's very yeah yeah dangerous actually mm -hmm. so government could try that way to to help the baby with the high quality and the third way I want to say is the compensation um, actually in the past um, females were always keeping giving birth there's actually no gap like my mom did there's no gap so it's a better way to for government to think about the compensation since um, um, if the compensation can given to can be given to those family they will not feel so stressful yeah in that case and all you know finally do not use brutal force right. yeah like the abortion right. and fine yeah thank you Love hope you guys enjoy my my story that you didn't even know thank you